Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time we, yeah, took care of business in Sacred Forest. Today, all the way over here to Cobalt Base. I fully expect a Shy Guy Bandit to show up the moment I exit here. So boy, that's gonna be fun when it happens. Anyway, let's... Go. Oh dear God, it's gonna be an underwater level, huh? They're, they're really about to do this to me? They're really about to do this to your boy? It's like that game? After I've been up here defending you? Calling you fun and junk? This is how you repay me? With betrayal? Okay. Got some good stuff here. How's 1,000 coins sound? Yeah, I got a lot. Huh? Listen, pal, you got too many cards right now to carry anymore. This is a cool pack of 30 cards. Yo, um. Hmm. But I kind of like my current setup. All right, you know what? Screw it. Let, 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 let's go for it. I'm about to throw away a lot of cards, namely these hop slippers, because I don't even know why I have so many hop slippers anyway. They're not that good. All right, I threw out a ton of uh, hop slippers and uh, e-cameras I had, and a few extra, like, worn-out jumps and stuff. So, all right, I got a bunch of cards. I hope they're good. Uh, thanks, and you didn't get them from me. But, what if I want to tell people of your pay- Like, don't you want more customers? Okay. So I guess that's a cool way to get some- Oh, wow. Oh, wow, he- Gave me a lot of good stuff. Wow. Like, a blaze hammer, e-camera, big jump, big e-camera, worn out hammer, hop slipper, ew, plunger, fire flower, Pow block, big hop slipper, Goomba, double jump, worn out hammer, hammer, fuzzy, iron jump, big mushroom, swoop, KO hammer, hurl hammer, hop slipper, spin jump, that is new. It looks like an iron jump with a spike underneath, a spike helmet, uh, big hammer, Koopa Troopa, ice flower, spiny, Triple worn out jump, big KO hammer, and double hammer. Yeah, um, that's a nice little haul. Especially a freaking, uh, item I've never seen before, the spin jump. I am looking forward to using that, but I hope I can get, like, another one or so, so I can donate it to the museum. You know, for science. Why has this gotta be painted blue? You have any idea how much paint is going into this? A lot. That's how much. Like, wow. Come on, man. This is kind of ridiculous, actually. I might run out of blue. Thankfully, they got some blue reserves right there off to the side. Oh, okay, we're good. Do I need those... I do want the big hurl hammer though. I, I will admit that. So I'll trash one big E camera. In favor of a huge hurl hammer. Wait a minute. Those are. That, wait, huge is better than uh. Big. Wait, no. Yeah, that that, that these are new. These these are brand new. Okay. Cool. Why does all this gotta take blue, though? Am I gearing up for a boss fight or something? Mm hmm. Yeah, just give me all these coins. You know, making up for the thousand I gave that, uh, Sniff It. 
I'm gonna laugh so hard if he's like called a shady sniffit or something. And just because I'm paranoid like that, what's my status here? Um. Cobalt base is 100% colored in. I was not expecting that. Okay. Am I seriously about to fight a boss? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, this is way too easy. <laughs> no. A trap door? Where the heck are we? The floor is covered in water. It looks like this pipe goes down even deeper. This pipe does down even deeper. Does down. Oh, come on, man. Well, you've seen a pipe or two in your day, Mario. What do you think? We don't have a lot of options here. I don't want to go underwater. Oh, but I can't go on the... Fine. Underwater. This is... The texture on that bubble, though... Whoa, it's so quiet. Are we underwater? We can still breathe. Let's get ready to play. Sniff it or... Whiff it, what in the world? <laughs> what? That's right, folks. It's that time once again. I'm your host, Sniffit. And our contestant today is, why if it isn't our old friend, Mario. There are seven rounds, win at least four of the rounds, and you'll win the grand prize, a mini paint star. Win all seven rounds, and you'll be invited to participate in a special bonus round. Use the cards you have on hand to answer the questions, and don't forget to paint them. If you're not confident in your answer, you can always pass, but that'll count as an incorrect answer. So are you ready to play? Yeah, I, I guess. Alrighty, please make your way to the contestant area. I'm not moving on my own. Or I'm moving on my own, rather. Oh, okay, fine. I wasn't manually moving, he did that on his own. Now let's get started. Round one, spinning card. Identify the card that you see. All right. Um, that's a triple jump, triple worn out jump. Now please answer using the cards you have in your hand. Oh my God, I have to go through all 99. Oh wow, all right. Um. Yeah, 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 that was a triple worn out jump my final answer and I'm sticking to it. Let's see how you did. Yeah. So far so good. Round two. Kelp cards. We're gonna show you three cards. You must identify all three. Blaze Hammer Worn Out KO. Got it. Now, please answer using the guard you have in your hand. Okay. I think they're actually going based off the cards that I just got from uh, my Sniffit buddy. If so, that's cool. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, uh, yep. All right. So far, so good. Round three. Entwined cards. We're going to show you two cards. Identify both of them. All right, they're entwined. Oh, that's rude. 
It's a big mushroom and hop slipper? Please answer the cards you have in your hand. Yeah, these, they're just flat out using the cards that I just got from uh, Sniff It Do. Not that I'm complaining. Because I don't want to search through 99 cards. Congratulations, that's three correct now. Just one more to clear. Round four. Paint that card. We're going to paint a card right in front of you. You'll need to choose the same card from your hand and then paint it the same amount we painted ours. That seems rude. Okay, plunger. Stop right above the, okay. All right, well I made a good idea to uh, buy from Sniff It Dude. This is actually pretty tough, trying to get the right amount of paint. I hope that's enough. Good, okay. That one was tense. Congratulations, that's four right answers in a row with no misses. You already secured your prize, but keep going and try to get every question right for a shot at that legendary prize. Yeah, I'm going for it. Round five, sir. Card roulette. We're going to show you three cards. Identify all three of them. Okay, spike helmet. Aw, oh, spin jump and spiny. Because I think I'm using up the cards too when I select them. All right, so, um, spin jump, spike helmet, and spiny. Let's see how you did. And yeah, I'm noticing like the previous cards are no longer in my hand. So I really am like using them up. Man, I was so excited to have spin jump too. That looks cool. So far so good. Round six, falling cards. We're going to show you three cards. Identify all three. Big hammer, e hammer, hurl hammer, got it. All right. Okay. I mean, if I really wanted to be petty, I could just like stop the recording, <laughs> check the footage, and then restart the recording and be like, okay, here we go. Yeah, this isn't too difficult. Incredible, you've won all six rounds so far. Here we go, our seventh round. Get this one right, you'll earn the right to try the bonus round, good luck. Round seven. Card recall. First we'll show you four cards, remember all of them. All right. Swoop, pow, big KO, fire. Swoop, pow, big KO 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 fire. Well, the pow block disappeared. And I don't even have to color it in. Okay. I've actually made a beat out of that. Swoop, pow, big KO fire. Okay, congratulations, you bested all seven rounds. Well, Mr. Perfect, 
Haha, <laughs> but I am not Kurt Hennick, though. But, you know, th th thank you for the compliment. You've earned the right to challenge the bonus round. Get all three questions correct, and you'll receive an extravagant legendary prize you can't find anywhere else. But get even one wrong, and it's an instant game over, and you're safe. I'll be erased forever. Wait, what? Just kidding. Okay, thank you. But seriously, if you get one wrong, it'll be game over. You won't get credit for clearing the other rounds. You in? Yes. I am now very afraid. <laughs> of course you are. Here we go. Bonus round part one. Falling cards two. We're going to show you three cards. Try to identify all three. Good luck. I'm sorry. I'm going for a little insurance here. <laughs> I have no qualms about this. All right, got my phone out. I am recording the screen. <laughs> Let's go. Evil, big hop, slipper, double hammer, and... Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, I don't even need the phone for that. That was easy enough. Yeah, big hop, slipper. Um... Yeah, line jump. Oh crap, was it double hammer or was it double, uh... Hmm. I don't think it was double jump, I think it was double hammer. I think it was double hammer. Cause I, I, I would've known, I would've remembered if all three were jumps. And we're still using, like, the cards the sniff it gave me. So let's see how you did. So did I inadvertently make this easy? There we go. Yeah, did I inadvertently make this easier for me by talking to the sniff it? Like, had I not talked to the sniff it, would it just go through my entire inventory for this? If so, that's kind of scary. Running low on paint. Want to buy some for 100 car or coins, rather? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Fill her up. Bonus round part two. Kelp cards two. Oh no. Insurance policy. I don't care anymore. I don't want a game over. We're going to show you three cards. Try to identify all three. Good luck. That is evil. Okay, fuzzy. Worn out hammer and. Ice flower, okay. I, I don't even need the phone for that again. Fuzzy, worn out hammer, ice flower. Fuzzy, worn out hammer, ice flower. Fuzzy. Paint him in. Paint in that ice flower. Wait. I don't have a worn out hammer left in the... Uh, Oh no, now they've gone to my real inventory. This is not good. They asked me... Okay, I'm legitimately a little mad about this. Um, unless that's the game trying to, like, troll me or something? But a worn out hammer is not in my inventory, like anywhere, not even in the cards I have, like that I had prior to talking to the sniff it. So I just put a regular hammer in there, but that's not right. They're, they're, they cheated. So I'm seriously about to get a game over because they asked for a card that wasn't in my hand. Oh, this is... <sighs> All right, then. Fine. Wait, what? Bonus set? I guess I'll take the bonus set with all the cards you need for the bonus stage. 
It's not even the best part. Buy my cards and you get to start right at the bonus stage. It's a... Okay. I don't understand. Fine. Oh, all right. So all the cards for the bonus stage. Cool. In retrospect, I'm look like I'm trying to think back on um, what went wrong and did I freaking throw out the uh, well or worn out hammer in favor of one of those huge hammers? So I essentially sabotaged myself if that was the case, which I'm beginning to think it was. I was about to uh, go in on this here game, but then it's like I legitimately think I did throw out one of the uh, items that the Sniffit gave me in favor of one of those huge weapons. So uh, that might be on me. <laughs> Ooh boy, that might be on me. Oh, and of course they're all new now. All right, fine. But let me throw away an old card of mine, not one I just got from him. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Thank you, I got all the huge ones now. And 100% done with the colorless spots here. Okay, now homeboy did say I would be able to start off at uh, the bonus round. But then does that mean I'm gonna have to play through it again to get the uh, paint star? Eh, yeah, we'll see. Or do I have to talk to him to do that? I don't even know. I, I, I kind of already forgot what he said. He said he was gonna talk to them or, ah, uh, whatever, Let, let's just go. <laughs> okay, and it appears that Mario here has purchased a bonus set from one of our sponsors. That means we're headed straight to the bonus round. Answer all three questions correctly. Okay, yes. All right, I'm ready this time, you freaking a-hole. Let's get started. It's round part one. Falling cards two. I should be recording this, but I'll be fine, I hope. Fire Flower, Pow Block, Spike. Spike, Fire Flower, Pow Block. Spike, Fire Flower, Pow Block. All right, let's see how you did. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am gonna have the phone out just in case, just in case. Cause I, I don't want to have to go through this again, you know, sitting through five minutes of me throwing out cards again. All right, kelp cards too. Let's do it. It's big jump, double, and e camera. All right, big line. Double jump e hammer. All right, let's see how you did. Yep. 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 Okay. This is it, folks. The final question of the bonus round. Bonus round part three. Card recall two. First, I'll show you three cards. Try to remember everything about the following scene. Hammer. Okay. Which card was the sniff it holding? Shoot. I think the blooper was holding the hop slipper. 
Sniff it was. Well, Cheap Cheap wasn't holding. Uh oh. I I think Sniff it had the hammer. Yeah, I'm not gonna second guess myself. I'm just gonna go with my first mind. I really do think Sniff it had the hammer. Please be correct. Please. Yes! Okay. All right. Incredible, you cleared the bonus round. Congratulations, Mario. You are our newest Sniff It or Whiff It champion. Now go and claim your legendary prize. Until we meet again, Mario, and for all you watching at home, we'll see you next time on Sniff It or Whiff It. So yeah, I really do think I might have accidentally like tossed out the uh, giant thingamathing. Congratulations on winning the legendary prize. Squeeze it as hard as you like. Okay. Y'all got anything else to say? Nope. So that's a camera. It's not even digital. That's what I get for winning? The Man. You got instant camera. The future of personal photography. Selfie so real, you'll begin to question reality itself. Not really. The legendary prize is all yours. Congratulations. Your standard prize is right through the red pipe there. Yeah, I better be able to get my standard prize. Oh, that means I also get to keep all the uh, extra cards, too. I'm happy about that. Here's our paint star. Thank you for not having another trap there. So, that happened. Oh boy. So that's Cobalt Base done, and of course the very next area over is going to be next. I'm sorry, I cannot revel in this because I'm on the lookout for Shy Bandits. Thank God. Okay, oh, on a letter. Fort Cobalt. Ooh, there's going to be a boss there. Okay, all right. Well, I'm not going to fit that in into this part. But yeah, next time we're going to be dealing with the boss of Fort Cobalt. I can't wait to see who it is. But for now, we got mail and some stuff to, you know, give to the museum. Okay, my mind, you've been busy. Now you do the sound. All right. And it's just now dawning on me. I've been recording to the wrong hard drive. So, uh, yeah, I'm recording to the one that doesn't have too much space. So, I'm might have to stop recording after this, which is a shame because I wanted to just go ahead and like do the next boss too. But all right, yeah, I never donated a worn out hammer. All right, then take that big hop slipper Then take that spin jump. Hopefully I'll be able to purchase that because that looks very cool. Take that huge eek, take that huge hurl, take that huge co. All right. Now let's see if we can give some enemies too. Probably. Do you have any enemy cards? Yes, here are the cards you can donate. Oh wow, okay. Well, take that red sniffing and take that fuzzy. All right. And then to go check the mail. Okay, I just checked the thing toad again, and he says I do in fact have all the things that I need. And that's a good thing. So let's go ahead, get this here mail, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Hey Mario, great timing, you've got new mail. Hello Mario, thanks to you, we were finally able to have our long-awaited tea party at the hotel. 
With that completed, we're going to ascend to a higher plane of existence now. Eternally yours, the Tea Party Toads. Aww. Well, that's pleasant. It's awfully nice of those spooky toads to send a thank you note like this. I wonder why they were so fussy about their Tea Party to begin with. Why is the help menu... That? No, the, the help thing, the, the manual was showing up on the thing. Okay, wait a minute. Something's up. Oh, okay, I don't think I've been noticing that because, um, and this, this is very nice that they have, like, uh, spoiler things. But yeah, I guess I haven't been noticing the manual icon showing up, if it has been. But yeah, I guess it's there to tell you, like, some different, uh, things about the game. Like, Slurp Guy's dance choreography. Have you seen the dance the Slurp Guys do before they slurp up paint? It's based on a folk dance with tweaks, so the Slurp Guy's natural cuteness and creepiness comes out. They move pretty quick when you see them in games, so I thought I'd take the chance to show you just how the dance is done right here. Raise the left leg, then the right, and the same again. Now walk in a circle, do a clockwise spin, back out, move in, and slurp. Looks a lot more fun than, you know, doing the soldier boy or the Humpty Hump, just saying. If you look closely, there are some additional finer details, like the flapping of the arms. You encounter this dance for the first time in Ruddy Road. Take some time to fully appreciate it next time you see it. I will. And then, I'll have battery, megaphone, or recorder, so, uh, cat of luck. You squeeze the catalog at the top of the Crimson Tower. The concept behind it, bleh, behind its in-battle performance is Japan as viewed from abroad. Starting from what they presume to be how Japan is viewed from overseas, the developers in Japan went comically overboard. There are a lot of really fine details you might not notice the first time around, so it's worth going to Port Prisma Museum to take a good look. By the way, the catalog's attack in battle, various types of mochi, battle mochi, sakura mochi, kazuo mochi, make an appearance. Do you notice there's also some awadori, Japanese traditional dance robots. Hmm, so there's a ton of little references in there. Okay, um... Yeah, I might have to zoom in on you when I get back, and I don't have battery, megaphone, or recorder yet. Safely read below once you've got the red big paint star. Great, and Hollow Peach. The Hollow Peach delivers messages from Princess Peach to Mario and its type of magic message card common to the Mushroom Kingdom. It's a pretty incredible thing that can deliver not only text, but voice and holographic image. It took quite a while before we settled on its final form. We made the initial version, there was no hologram and the card moved up and down much faster. It also used to activate from farther away and then move closer to Mario. Because of that, some of the development staff reacted saying, Whoa, that's terrifying! And what is this sorcery? Naturally, we went through many rounds of improvements after that and eventually ended up as what you see in game. Looks a lot calmer now, right? Yeah. Safely read below once you've gotten the blue big paint star. Do I have the blue paint star? No, I have yellow. Oh. Well, I skimmed ahead a little and it doesn't seem spoilery for what I've dealt with. Ghostly disturbance at Dark Blue Inn. How'd you handle the puzzle in the end? Probably felt a built like a horror movie, but actually the story of this inn is something much more tragic. Many years ago when the Dark Blue Inn first opened, six toad friends made a promise, a sacred oath really, to have a tea party there. They checked into the inn the day before, intending to spend the night before the party began at 3 p.m. the next day. But as it happened, the grandfather clock at the front desk broke. The toads finally realized this, 3 p.m. had long since passed. Six friends fell into a deep depression, and as the years passed, their tea sipping aspirations remained unfulfilled. Couldn't they have just gone downstairs and drank tea at four then? Uh, okay, fine. Exactly 200 years after the founding of the inn, the grandfather clock was repaired in commemoratorium. Uh, blah, commemoration, what the hell? For the moment, the clock once again began to mark the passage of time. Serious phenomena started occurring within the hotel. After that, the six toes, we already know, you helped them fulfill their long-held wish. So I have no doubt they are very grateful. Then, then, yeah, P.T. Piranha, that we, we did Plum Park. That's Orange Paint Star. Okay, well, I, I won't read that then. So when P.T. Piranha appeared out of a teapot all of a sudden, I bet you were wondering why he was in there, huh? It was all the doing of those two snippets you'll find having tea in Plum Park. Oh, when they stole the teapot from the hotel, they also stuffed P.T. in there in place of a tea bag. When P.T. gets squeezed inside the teapot, he screams, Larbok, which roughly translates as, hey, knock it off, which is pretty reasonable, I guess. Why is that spoilery? That's just, eh, all right. 
And I will refrain from the uh, rest of the stuff for now. Okay, then. Well, I guess that's what the game wanted me to see. All right, so, uh, yeah. It's gonna be it for today. Next time, we're going to Fort Cobalt to fight the next boss and get the next big paint star. It's probably gonna be the blue one. And then that would have been like, hey, that's when you should read that blue stuff. But I kind of already dealt with Plum Park and uh, Dark Blue Inn, so why not read it now? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Paper Mario Color Splash. Good boy. Why was I talking like that? I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe I'm insane.